Hey guys, welcome in the channel. And today in this lecture, we are going to discuss on how to destructure the props and state. So now you can see here, you uh, can see here like uh, this is the component, right? I'm importing this component from here to here, right, in this class. So this is the header component I'm using. So this is the number and is correct is the prop. Uh, we are passing uh, these props to the header, right? So you can see inside this component, I'm using this props here inside the uh, the header function, right? So I'm using the props like this, the props and props dot number and props dot is correct, and the number and is correct is the props of header, right? So this is the one way by using you can uh, use the props, you you can destructure the props, and uh, another way, the second way is you can use like this cons and props. So this is you can see here this is the props object and in this prop object I am passing my all props like number and is correct number and is correct and just I need to use this number and is correct only I don't need to use props dot at this place like you can see here the same result you are getting on, on this browser right this is the second way. So, uh, if you want to destructure the props, so you have a two way. One way uh, where you are, you you are accessing the props dot something like this, and you are accessing second way like uh, you can pass the props and destructure like this. Okay. Now, suppose that we have uh, this time we have actually the function based component. Suppose that we if we'll have the class based component, then how you can do? And then how can you use how you can use I'm going to make this function as a class based component extending the property of component <coughs> and uh, render and return correct you can see here now this component is a class based component Correct. Now I'm going to access the prop like this. This dot props. And I can see I'm getting my props using this keyword, right? So I'm getting this object. Again, you can see I'm getting the same result because I'm passing the props number and is correct here like this. And now I'm accessing these all things in the same manner. Like I do. I'm not using like uh, this dot props. This is uh, the first way of destructuring the props in the class based component now if you don't want to use like this so you can use like this this dot props dot number and again here like this dot props dot is correct i can see i'm getting the same result here also if you want to use in another format you can use like this constructor props super Super props this dot is state. So now you can see here we have the state, we have all the states here. So I can use this state directly here. Like suppose that we have the number, right? So can can we use this uh, use like this number? Can we use like this? And I'm just accessing now at the pro at the state uh, at the at the place of props i'm just using a state so sorry props i need to pass props like this here so now you can see i'm getting the same result just because of why i'm i'm storing my props number here into the number right in the state and i'm accessing my state value like this so now i can do for is check also the, the also in the same manner this dot like this so now I can access like this I'm getting the same result right and also you can do like this you can use like this dot state and you can use directly number at the place of so lengthy line number and 
state you will get the same result so this is this is how you can destructure your props as well your state like this so thank you so much guys hope you like this video please go uh, give uh, the, uh, this video to big thumbs up and please do subscribe my channel thank you so much